Welcome, we are going to obtain the transient response of a single degree of freedom system with these properties and initial conditions. At first, in part module, click on create part. In the dialog window, in front of name, type a name, for example, mass. And from this part, click on point. Then click continue. Now, in this part, type the coordinate of the point, for example, 0, 0, 0, and then press Enter. Now, change the part module to the property module. Next, click on Special, Inertia, Create. Now, in the dialog window, click on Point Mass and then Continue. In this part, select a name for the point, for example, set point, and then click on the point, and click on done. In the dialog window, in this part, type the mass, 2 kilograms, and then click on OK. Now change the property module to the assembly module, then click on instance part in the dialog window, at first, click on Mass from this part and then click on OK. Now change the assembly module to the step module, then click on Create a Step. In the window, in this part, select Static General and then click on Continue. In the window, in this part, type 1 and click on this tab and in front of increment size, click, for example, 0 0.1 and then click on OK. Now click on Create a Step again. In the window, from this part, click on Dynamic Implicit and then click on Continue. Now in the window, in front of Time Period, type 30 and click on this step, then from this part, click on Fixed, and in this part, type, for example, 3000. Now, in front of increment size, type 0 0.01, and then click on OK. Now, click on Field Output Manager. In the dialog window, at first, click on Created, and then click on Edit. In the dialog window, deselect stresses, strains, forces, and contact. And then click OK. Then click on Dismiss. Now change the step module to the interaction module. Next, click on a Special, Experience Dashboard, Create. In the window, select Connect Points to Ground and then Continue. In response to Select Points, click on Sets and from the window click on Mass and then click on Continue. In the dialog window, from this part select 1 as the degree of freedom of the screen and dashboard and then in front of screen swiftness type 4. Then activate this part and type 1 as a dashboard coefficient and then click on OK. Now change the interaction module to the load module, then click on create boundary condition and from the window, from this part, select a step 1 and from this part, mechanical and then click on displacement rotation and then click on continue. Now from the dialog window, select mass 1 and then click on continue. Next, in the window, Click on U1 and in this part type 0.1 and then click on OK. Now click on Boundary Condition Manager in the window. From this part click on Propagated and then click on Deactivate. Then click Dismiss. Next click on Create Predefined Field. In the window from this part select Initial. And from this part, select Mechanical, and then Velocity, and then Continue. Now, in the window, click on Mass 1, and then click on Continue. In the window, in front of V1, type 
0.01 and then click on OK. Then change the load module to the job module. Now click on create job in the window. Select a name, for example, example 1 and then click on continue. In the window, click on memory tab and in this part, for example, type 100 person and then click on OK. Now click on job manager in the window. In order to start running the job, click on submit and wait for completing the job. As you can see, it has been completed. In order to open the ODB file and see the results, click on results. Now click on create XY data and from the dialog window click on ODB field output and then click on continue. Now in the window from this part click on unique nodal and then click on U1. Then click on active steps frames and from the window deselect step 1 and then click on OK. Now click on elements notes tab and from this part click on note sets then click on mass 1 and then click on plot and then click on dismiss. In order to change the font of the axis click on XY axis options and then from this part click on chart 1 axis 1 displacement and then click on axis. Now click on font. In the window, in this part, we can change the size. For example, select 14 and then bold and then click on OK. And from this part, we can click on chart 1, axis 1 and then from this part, click on font. Now select this value again and then click on bold. Now click on OK and then click on Dismiss to close the window. As you can see, the initial value of the dynamic step is 0.1. In order to see the values on the plot, we can click on Query Information and then from the window click on Probe Values, then Trace the Plot. For example, click on this point. As you can see, the value of this point is 0.032. Now, we are going to compare the results with the results obtained from the theory. According to the vibration theory, the undamped natural frequency of the system can be found from this equation and the time period can be found from this equation. Also, the damped natural frequency can be calculated from this equation with its time period. In addition, the transient response can be found from this equation and in this part, the time response of the system has been shown. As you can see, the initial value is 0.1 and the value of this point is 0.032. So the results are the same.